I'm Dr. Julian Darius, founder of Sequat Research and Literacy Organization, and I'm responding to Grant Morrison's recent video with Kevin Smith in which he says that Batman kills the Joker at the end of Batman the Killing Joke. This is completely true, and I'm not surprised that Grant would realize this. Grant's one of the smartest people I've ever met, and he's absolutely right. Batman is a murderer, he did kill the Joker at the end. But I think that he's wrong about the method. Grant points out that the laughter ends before the end of the comic. But he suggests that Batman snaps the Joker's neck. Now some people have said, well, there's no evidence we would have seen the Joker fall. I'd like to suggest a different method of murder here. Batman is using the Joker's venom from his needle device in his hand to kill the Joker. If you look earlier in The Killing Joke, we see the effect of this toxin, that it paralyzes the person as they die. We see this with the man who's on the elephant in the amusement park. He's frozen in place and he's still upright on that elephant even though he's dead. So he's like in a state of rigor mortis. And this is what we see in The Joker. Not only does he stop laughing, but he actually freezes. So if you're wondering why does the Joker not fall, this is why. The Joker's already dead. He's just frozen in place. So when Batman hits the Joker, you have the Joker start laughing maniacally and then suddenly stop and he's frozen on his feet. You also see in the panel in between, the Joker's hand goes out like this and is just like frozen in place, almost as if it's becoming stiff. And then you have a shot of his feet sort of stiffly positioned along with the rain and the water as you end the story. Now earlier in the narrative, there's a weird page in which Batman's fighting the Joker and he kicks the Joker's needle out of his hand and he is hit on the head by a two by four and then he tumbles into a wall and he stops and he stares at his hand. And it's like half the page in this fight scene, he's staring at his hand. Why is Batman staring at his hand in the middle of a fight scene for half a page? Nobody has remarked on this, and I don't know why. Now, just previous, Batman had kicked that needle out of uh, the Joker's hand. So, is it possible that he got that needle caught in his glove and he's staring at it, and then he turns and resumes the fight? Can you imagine? In the chaos of a fight, you lift up your hand and there's a fucking needle there, and you're like, there's my death. If that had been an inch to the left, I'd be dead now. And in fact, you see throughout the entire book, there are all these shots of discarded cigarettes, uh, Coke cans, stuff like that on the ground, that kind of emphasizes that there are objects on the ground here and gets you thinking. It's possible that Batman has stumbled into that needle. There's also a hand motif. You have all these hands, you have close-ups of hands. When Batman's researching the Joker, you just have his hands, his hands, his hands. It's like it's telling you, watch the hands. What the Joker has in his hands is this poison needle. And then after that conflict with the Joker where Batman maybe picks up this needle, suddenly you don't see his hands until he slaps the Joker on the back and suddenly the Joker acts as if he's just been hit with his own Joker toxin. But finally you have the motif of the ripples in the water. Now if you look at these visuals, these are circles with a line of rain hitting in their center, which recalls the circular base of the Joker's needle device with a needle sticking up from it. Now we know that Alan Moore, especially in this period in Watchmen, used these visual devices. So the killing joke isn't only that Batman kills the Joker, it's also that the Joker wins that Batman has been driven to the end, he gives the Joker one final out. He says, uh, we're gonna kill each other if this goes forward. I'm gonna give you what might be your last chance. And the Joker's response is to tell a joke, which is about an insane man not being able to accept help, not being able to see a way out because of his position, because he is insane. And that joke is really a metaphor for how he can't change. This is the Joker saying, I can't take your way out. And it's then that Batman, no longer enraged, but calm, delivers this blow to the Joker, which causes this rigor mortis effect. He stops laughing, he's paralyzed, rigid in place, 
You even see the Joker's hand freeze up and you pan down to this visual echo of this needle device. It's right there on the page for you to see if you want to, but if you don't want to see that, you can choose to ignore it if you want. I talked about all of this in my book, And the Universe So Big, which was published by Sackwart Research and Literacy Organization last year.